will he be back next year? Yes or no? <sighs> Whatever you want. You tell me. I could take yes if you want to take no. I'll Not take should no. he be back or will he be back? Okay, what do yeah. we think? Our, our yeah, prediction? Well, yeah, prediction. Prediction. I'm going to say he is if you want to say no. I'll say no. All right. All right. Go ahead, Jimmy. So, I mean, I just – at this point, with everything that's played out, right, with the way this whole thing played out, you read through the lines of these quotes. You read mm -hmm. through what he said, sidestepping the question about Lynch and Shanahan telling him that he's going to be here because they haven't told him that he's going to be here. Um, so, yeah, they say all kind of things, right? Did right. they say something like that? Yeah, they say all kind of things. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I yeah. think that's what he said, yeah. Yeah, no, Jimmy said, look, uh, they've said what they said, and I appreciate them for it. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't, like, see, these these quotes, right? When you when you nitpick the quotes and you put in whatever you want, you can create whatever narrative you want, right? True. Read the full and watch yeah. the body language, man. Mm -hmm. like, Jimmy just sits there and he's like, <sighs> you know, like, for a guy who is super... Hands Jimmy, to, uh, you know, and everybody, he's, he's Jimmy, constantly like, rolling up his, do you ever notice that he constantly yeah, rolls like, up his sleeves? He cannot guys, have his sleeves all the way down. The guy's at the press conference sipping water like he's on trial at some, like, you know, like, like, dude, relax. If you were going to be here, your yeah. body language would show that. Yes. These quotes that they come out, right? Kyle saying, I expect, I, hope you're right. I expect a I lot of things right. next year. I hope you're right, Jason. I want to <laughs> keep going. I, I expect, yeah. Look, I expect a lot of things, right? I expect to wake up tomorrow with a million dollars in my bank account. That doesn't happen, you know? So you can expect whatever you want. What Kyle did was he gave out a quote which gave him ultimate wiggle room and also a chance to say, see, I said that I'm going back to Jimmy, and I can. Look, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But look, you have to think about this. Him not playing when the buzz out there is that he's been healthy, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, sorry, Kittle came back. Jimmy Ward came back. Where were you? Okay. George Kittle's playing in a meaningless game because George Kittle is a football player. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So seems like Jimmy Garoppolo is making a business decision. Seems like Kyle Shanahan is propping up his value with everything that he's saying, right? All of these things, when I put my tinfoil hat on, line up with the idea that the 49ers are keeping his value where it is and looking to move him. I agree. I yeah, agree. so I, I, have I, no, I have no debate with you so far. Keep going. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to be here now. Who he's going to be replaced with? So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, 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 let me argue with you. Everything you so, said, I agree with you until the final thing. Uh -huh. I guarantee they want. I can't guarantee it. I feel very strongly that they would love to move Jimmy Garoppolo. Yes. Would love to look at their faces when you ask Kyle Shanahan, Kyle, is Jimmy going to be your quarterback next year? He's like this. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Coach has yeah, seen some things this year, though. Have you seen him? He's aged 30 years this year. <laughs> I mean, he's like the least enthusiastic yes of all time. Fair. But I think it's going to be really hard. I think what – let me read some, some body language. I read a guy who wants to move him and feels he can't, who feels stuck and is mad about it. Because maybe in October – he felt he could have got Zach Wilson, that Zach Wilson was going to be there. Now Zach, everyone loves Zach Wilson. Now that's probably not an option. Mm -mm. Now getting rid of Jimmy Garoppolo, you can't, you can't make Nick Mullins a starter. He didn't win. Maybe there were some fantasies from Kyle Shanahan that he'd be winning with Nick Mullins and he could do whatever he wanted. No, 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 no. He's only showed that he can win with Jimmy. If you get rid of Jimmy and bring in Andy Dalton and you lose, you could get fired. You could look like an idiot. You look like an idiot, first of all. And especially if Jimmy goes somewhere else and win, somewhere else and wins, I'm not saying that's what happened, but it's a mm. possibility, and you got to protect yourself. Mm. So I think that even though you gave all these great reasons to move on, the Niners ultimately will chicken out and bring him back one more year. And if they have a bad year, then they'll scapegoat Jimmy and get rid of him next year. Do you? All right, let's uh, let's let's you know I'm gonna put my tinfoil hat on again. Do you feel like sometimes Kyle throws Jimmy out there just to like almost say like you see? You see, I'm telling you, you see, look, yes. look at him. Yes. Okay. Okay. As negative as I've been about Jimmy Garoppolo the last two years, Kyle's way more negative. People, I think people are starting to get it. Yeah. I think people are starting to understand that he can't really stand Jimmy as a player. Mm -hmm. That I think he feels sick that he's stuck coaching a quarterback he doesn't want to coach. This was supposed to be his blank slate. He was supposed to come to the Niners and do whatever he wanted, and he doesn't even get the quarterback he wants. So, so, you, so if you ask NFL teams, you know, do you want do you want the 49ers to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo? I guarantee you there's not an NFL team in here that would say, I, I hope they upgrade. That's the thing that's holding this team back. If the 49ers upgrade, this entire league is in trouble. 
like with those right. weapons. If they so, can get so, Matt Ryan, that's an upgrade. But you have to trade picks to get Matt Ryan, and he's and Matt Ryan. Years you know, old. Look, but then that that lends to all right. So the 49ers' ultimate thing was is that they went in last year for the Super Bowl. You win that Super Bowl last year, and all of this stuff becomes less noise, right? Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> if you go all in with Matt Ryan, you know, for one year, two years, and you don't win, you're done. You're done. That's that's bad. It's bad. Yeah. So look, I think they should let Jimmy Garoppolo walk. We already talked about it. I would take, I would, I would cut him if it. If I want the cap space because keeping Jimmy Garoppolo means you got to choose between Trent Williams and Jason Brett. I don't want to make that choice. I, I, I'm not making that choice. Listen, I, I sent out a tweet yesterday, and people, you know, didn't understand it because the the Trent Williams thing came out about them not getting the deal done. And I swear, if this front office does not get this deal done, they deserve every single bit of slander. Hundred percent. I think they thought that if if they uh, did a solid and showed it uh, goodwill towards Trent Williams, he would return the favor. And at the end, he was like, no, no, uh, no. If at you want to pay me what I'm worth, I'm coming back. But no. Right. At what point do we, like, look at this front office and, like, dude, you guys with your offers are, like, pushing people away. You know, like, you're lucky that people want to be here at times. You know, like, you 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 lowball one offer. You lowball high players. Come on. Like, I understand. Parag- and you reward to do people like Jimmy and Eric Armstead for, like, a, a, a half a season. If you're asking me right now, Jimmy or Trent and Verrett and, and all these guys that we can keep, that's not even a question at this point. You have to move on from Jimmy and bring other people in. You have to keep Trent. You have to keep Jason Verrett after the year that he just had, right? You know, I fear that Jason Verrett's going to follow Salah. But what did Jason Verrett do for this team? Like, we know we talked about it almost every single week, the flexibility, the the, the best man cover the 49ers have had probably since Dion. Yeah, and Eric Davis, really, honestly. The, the first corner they've had who really deserves – to go to a Pro Bowl based on his coverage, not on the front seven in front of him. Way better than Carlos Rogers ever freaking was. Hell of a player. Got to bring him back. Because replacing him ain't easy. How many corners have the Niners drafted successfully the last 25 years? None. So, yeah, I mean, look, what I would do, and we agree on it, trade Jimmy if you can, cut him if necessary, bring in a guy like Andy Dalton, and draft whoever you want. That's the move, but they're not going to do it, Jason, because that would take guts. And it would take smarts. I mean, it would it would be a smart, gutsy decision. And the Niners don't really do that. They uh, ride the fence. They wait too long. They wait until the decision is obvious, and they should have done it the year before. I'm sorry. The Niners have a lot of great ideas, but decision-making has not been their strength. And uh, we're talking about the quarterback position. You really, you really believe they're going to get this right, Jason? Mr. I'm waiting a year for Kirk Cousins? He might be still waiting yeah. for Kirk Cousins. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Because we're going to speak it into existence, right? And yeah, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying. That's all I've been doing is trying to be positive and just try to put it out there in, in, the, in the world. I'm trying. I'm trying.